them. This is Fong. Ah, oh, Mr. Fong. How nice to know that you're still among the living. I was worried. What do you want? You already know. Our company paid quite handsomely. Half of it up front, in fact, for a product that you and your men still haven't delivered. It's not our fault. You know we were ambushed. For all I know, you were the one who set us up. No excuses. You will recover or replace the package by the end of next week. Can't be done that fast. I'll need at least two months. By the end of next week, Mr. Fong, or there will be severe retribution. The clandestine nature of our deal precludes legal action, but I am free to follow other options. Delivery. Next week. I'll expect your call. Good afternoon, Williams Pharmaceuticals. How can I help you? Hey, Dad. Hold one moment while I transfer you. Hey, good afternoon. How's lunch? Very good. Thank you, Jenny. You're welcome. And by the way, Mr. Yeager would like to speak with you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You gotta love those interns. <laughs> yeah, well, put your tongue back in your mouth, pal. She's barely out of high school. Yeah. Mr. Douglas, here are your messages. So I take it Milton loves your work on the Bronski case. Hey, look, I tried to keep you on board, okay? You wouldn't listen. No, I'm not blaming you. He thinks I can't handle the tough ones. Yeah. I've decided on a spot if you're still interested in that outlaw biker adventure. Where? Trust me. Meet me at 7, we'll head on over. What, tonight? For God's sake, Bobby, it's Wednesday. Come on, live a little. Step out of the box. Oh, or do you have to clear it with Uncle Milty first? Mm hmm? All right, let's do it. You know, if nothing else, you're gonna love the, uh, the atmosphere. <laughs> Get out of here. Must be Walker, and you must be Fong. What's the matter? You don't look very healthy. Are you missing something? Package, maybe? Please let our guests sit. Go. Was it really necessary to bring that in here? Just keep it honest. You know, I really should just kill you. And where would that get you? I'm guessing your clients want their package back. And I'm very unhappy that you lost it. 
<laughs> You've got a lot of nerve coming in here with your gang. Just like something out of a bad 60s movie with your leather. Why don't you guys stick to running amphetamines or whatever your class of people does and let us real businessmen handle the important commerce? You haven't got a fucking clue now, do you, Fong? See my guys? They represent all the motorcycle clubs. We've united. Not like your little mafia setup you have around here. And we make more profit than you do. We're in control. And your class of people can't stop us. All right. I'll humor you. What do you want? I want you to go back to your clients and tell them if they want to see their precious package, they're to pay you double the original amount. A quarter of that's yours. And the rest is mine. As far as they're concerned, they've already paid for the product. Why would they pay again? Because if they don't, I'm prepared to sell it to the competitors. And of course, if that happens, you get cut out of the picture. <laughs> you are so out of your league. They won't deal with you. They'll kill you. If anyone tries to take it from you by force, I'll use the first half of it. Oh, yeah, I will. And the price goes way up for the other. Of course, the second part is more valuable. But now, why am I telling you this? You know what it's capable of. You created it. You're crazy, you wouldn't. Am I? Am I crazy? Think about it, Fong, before people die. <laughs> Real class. See you later, Fong. Shit! You told me you'd turn her over to me if I were to attack. Now, what 
What I said was, is that you would see her, and you could see her. This is live, John. If I don't make a phone call within eight minutes, your daughter dies. Set down the package. Set it down, John! your friend, and you tell her to let her go, or I drop it. And the final break if it's over for everybody. This is so stupid! Think about it, John. Do you really want to be responsible for your daughter's death? Just like you're responsible for your wife's, or Bobby's. This is your chance to be forgiven, so take it! Don't take it. Go ahead, hero. Smash it. Kill us all. Is that what you want? Is that your big master plan? She will die. Set it down, John. Fuck. Set it down. Now. That's right. Go back away. Daughter. Not so fast. I need to make sure you didn't damage anything. Uh, mm. Who are you working for anyway? Walker? Walker? I played him for the fool he is. My employer set the whole thing up. Fed him information so he couldn't resist going after the package. They already had me in place, so when the time was right, I could steal it. And the time became right, and you and Bobby came along. And then Bobby had to go and get smart. So now what? It goes back to your employer? That was a plan. But I have my own plans. Beginning with you. We're good to go. Do it. No! No! Thank you. Oh. Officer down! 